next thing to it is the writing convention. Writing convention of email are very different from the conventional correspondence that we do. One of the differences that is very much there is that when we write a letter, we also send some uh, non-verbal cues with it. In case of email, there are not too many non-verbal cues. Beside the convention of uh, email has an informality in it compared to written communication. It is a little different from the traditional way of writing. In emails, normally certain acronyms are used or it has its own jargon. I cited some of the example in my previous lecture that we use certain terms, certain words which are very known by people using this uh, media. So it has its own jargon. Then there are certain convention of writings which are, uh, which are strictly observed in conventional writing uh, and which are not taken care of in email. For example, when we are writing, we do not care of punctuation, uh, capitalization, though we do sometimes take care of periods or full stop, but we don't care for other other uh, punctuation mark. Similarly, uh, we can use certain figures, certain uh, graphics to convey our meaning in email, uh, in uh, which, which are not uh, uh, used in normal conventional uh, written messages. So, it this technology has its own convention of uh, writing. Whenever we want to send some email, we need to go log on and then we have to write a certain address and to give a certain password and then we are allowed to uh, use a certain mailbox and then we can compose our messages and send our messages. Similarly to read email, we have access to any computer system then to log on by using a certain identification code, our address and password and then we can read our messages. So far as the planning of the messages is concerned, we have to take care of planning step when we are dealing with email messages. For example, we need to decide on the purpose that why we are writing our email messages, especially when we are dealing with business messages because we do use the business messages for this purpose. So we need to decide the purpose, we need to decide on the contents and then write the main ideas into point form. Then we can form these point into one regular letter, regular message that is according to our purpose.